Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to Online Study for You, a complete placement solution. So guys, today we have the interview questions from Rahul Sharma. He was one from the afternoon shift, that is around 3 or 3.10 he started uh, with a interview session. So obviously we got so much doubts regarding like how what is the total duration of the uh, interview process. So basically they would try to conclude it within the 20-25 minutes. So that is the duration that you may get it uh, from the schedule. But it can low it can go as long like it depends upon the candidate or it depends upon the panelist okay so whatever it is if you just got you know a pretty good interview pretty good duration it's, it's a positive sign actually like uh, 20 minutes plus half an hour and all these uh, kind of duration is actually a positive sign so don't uh, ever think that i got you know 40 minutes of interview session uh but uh, i didn't uh like well i mean most of the others didn't got this much duration. So am I selected? Don't worry upon the same. Even my, in my interview cases, my interview was still 40 minutes, 45 minutes around. So it's it's not like that. And I'm pleased with that job as well. So uh, it, this is the way. Okay, so everyone, we got a lot of concern that I got this much duration. So will I get the job or not? Don't worry. The duration is not what is, you know, giving you the job or taking you the job. It is the performance that is job doing. Okay, so... If you will be pretty much confused that in which all aspects the panelist is analyzing, right? So most of the students or most of the person who's attending the interview may not be answering all the questions. It's very true. A person may not be able to answer all the questions, but still he or he, she would have got the job. Okay, so here too, there are so much instances like that. So before getting into the interview questions, technical questions, we really need to know like what is the panel analyzing? Okay, what the panelists do analyze. So what is their expectation? Then if you know, get to know that only we can move further, right? Yeah, so what is the panel expectation? If you could prepare with that, then there is no worries that you, you don't have to go with anxiety or you have to go with nervousness to attend it. So this is what panelist is looking forward for, a fresher. And if you could satisfy them with these things, then there is no way other that like you won't be getting selected. Okay, so one is the communication skill. So communication skill, it do means that you don't have to be like a kind of, uh, you know, a great orator or like a great person who would uh, give a fluent English. It's nothing like that. You must be able to communicate your messages with them. If they ask any questions, you must be able to answer them. If, if it is completely fine, then that English is completely okay with, with them. Okay. If you're going for like a marketing kind of job or something like that, where you have to talk a lot, or if you're going for a speech and if you're taking a stage, then okay, this uh, you need to have the high English fluency. But if not, for this company jobs and all, you know, you just want the uh, English or the communication skill that will help you to communicate with people. It doesn't mean that you have to talk in so much speed. It do mean that you can use a simple words to convey that song. Okay, so if you could do politely, then communication is what they want. And next is the fundamentals of programming. Yes, you are getting into an IT sector. So for sure, you need some knowledge on the programming. So you can take any of the programming languages. And I guess that most of uh, like uh, we take uh, every most of them graduations, you will be having like what list one uh, computer science related paper with you, which is the fundamentals. So if you don't have if you wish if you like if you don't have that in the syllabus too, don't worry, you can get it a lot many sources there to get uh, learn to that you can use that source as well. But but as of now, you are uh, trying for the interview purpose. One thing you have to do is fundamentals of programming. Okay, so take any of the program and learn the fundamentals. Most of you might be going through that. Just go through that. Only fundamentals, you, they don't want you to like, you know, crack uh, great programs, which is two, three pages long. There's nothing like that fundamentals basic is completely fine and next is the fundamentals of database so database is important uh, any of the programming language or database is important even if you don't know like like you know to write a code upon the same you must know some knowledge on database so the database is very important in any of the aspects so some knowledge on that okay and next is project knowledge to analyze your participation so this is the other important thing so among this if you ask me like which is very much common for all of the uh, computer science and non-computer science students i would say that these two things are very much important 
okay the communication skill and the project knowledge to analyze your participation like how you have participated in the project were you just sitting around and someone else doing the project or you just really participated in that whatever project it is it is computer science related or non computer science related this is what they want you uh, want you to hear from and next is uh, this come if you are a computer science student individually they will be considering this because this is from your syllabus and if you're a non computer science student they will just analyze this together okay this together because are you having some knowledge on database are you having some knowledge on programming language anything very basic they'll just took it in completely okay so this is what panelist is expecting especially when coming into thesis in qt which is just happening right now because most of the students that we just heard their interview stories are our own student who has just uh, appeared for the examination uh, and aptitude examiner and thereby qualified for the interview they gave the common questions that they gave so much of common questions as well and the patterns are very common enough okay that is this is what they're analyzing so if you are ready with this then you are ready to go okay so now without further delay i'm moving on to this so first when he started with his interview the first ever question that you can ever hear is tell me about yourself once again i'm repeating i used to tell this in all of my videos keep it brief and crisp just go through all the parts in your resume like your name your graduation details your technical skills then your strength hobbies and then conclude it okay so this is the way how, how we have to go and all of the things you can just touch by and go the detailed details regarding that is there with him in the resume so the resume part will be there so you just have to brush it up if you want to know about more about your technical skill he just specifically i will ask that and if he want to know more about your hobbies he will specifically ask that so what you have to do is just give one line or description of everything about yourself okay don't don't just give a long explanation which is 2 to 3 minutes long just give it like 1 to 2 minutes between that okay now technical skill that you are confident at technical skill or skills okay anything you can just give so this he was a csa student so he'll be getting obviously computer science related questions for sure and also non computer science students too they will ask you apart from this question they'll ask you like which is a technical skill that you are very well known you have to know if you don't know any of the technical skill uh, then uh, you won't be getting selected okay so it's a it company it company so the job is related to the it sector so obviously you need to know that right okay so now which is the technical skill that you are confident at so this question will take you to the technical round okay that is the questions that comes in the technical round is decided by answering these questions so it is not about this question alone when you just do it like tell me about yourself some of them don't ask this question separately but they'll just uh, look that tell me about yourself and your resume and which is the skill set that you are telling first like uh, in the interview session in the tell me about yourself you will be telling like okay my now coming to my technical skills my technical skills includes you will be starting with one of the technical skill right so that from that they may ask or else something which they got it straight to okay so what is the thing that i was coming to us if you are confident in some technical skill include that in your tell me about yourself and also in resume if you don't know anything about that just just ignore it there is no point of increasing the number of technical skills in resume and tell me about yourself just to impress him because he may throw up questions and if you couldn't answer them then done <laughs> then you will not be getting selected and that will create a very bad impression okay so if you are very confident and if you don't if you know the basics then go for it and it doesn't mean that you can just keep it one and ignore all of them if something you have learned it earlier but now if you just forgot something just try to brush it up okay just give some time and try to brush it up because opportunities never knocks at all twice so just you know uh, being lazy to brush the things up just ignoring the part won't help you just just brush it up just you know one to two hours for one technical skill if you could spend and if you could research it by yourself you will get all the fundamental uh, knowledge on the same can run twice okay that's all you may be thinking you might have completely forgotten that but don't worry somewhere in the brain it will be still there if you just try to brush it up then it will come by okay so that's it so so technical round is completely depend upon how you answer to these two questions that is coming up so if whenever the interviewer is trying 
trying to throw up these two questions, make sure this is for the next round. Okay, now these are the technical questions that he have came across. So yes, for here, uh, like in the technical skill, he have mentioned about Java and his project was also related to Java. So that's why he got most of the questions from Java and very basic questions from C, C++, DBMS, as you can see here. So here, types of inheritance is the first question. So I have already mentioned in my previous video, whoever watching this video without watching my previous video, please go to the previous video, which I just uploaded yesterday from the morning shift uh, interview questions. So there I have mentioned and uh, told about OOPS concept, which is very important. So OOPS, you can't get an interview without OOPS concept if you're a fresher, if you're looking for an IT sector. So that video itself I have already mentioned, either you can get what are the pillars of OOPS concept, or you can just tell what are the concepts of uh, like OOPS concept, or what are the components of OOPS concept, tell me the various types of OOPS concept, or they may ask you in specific, what is data abstraction, what is inheritance, what is polymorphism, give an example to that, uh, give a real, real life example to that, something like that. So here too, he had got a similar question types of inheritance. So here I have uh, answers for you for your easiness to prepare. Single, multiple, multi-level, multi-path and hierarchy and hybrid are the types of inheritance. So if you know like one line definition for all of this, then you can give it. But in case you know only some, okay, you know only the one line definition for this, but you don't know about this thing, just don't give the one line definition for any of this, okay, because that will create an impression for the interviewer, right? You know, you are very partial of the answer. Okay, so we don't give, go for that. He just asks you types of inheritance. So if you are just partial, just give the name and complete it, done. Okay, so first thing that I would like to mention is don't ever give negative impression from your side. Don't just throw it up, okay? Keep it very composed and be very optimistic. And now next question, which is more efficient searching algorithm. Okay, so this is a kind of, you know, very uh, tricky question because most of us would have not, we have learned it, but we would have not brushed it up or we would have not, you know, given importance to this question, but this is very important. There are different types of searching among that, Binary search is more efficient because it takes less time, it seems. So if you get a question, if you know what is binary search too, you can just tell them, okay, it works in this mechanism, like it uh, takes a half and something like that. You can just mention that if you're very confident with the binary search, you can give that or else you can just give the name. Binary search is much more efficient. You can just end it up like that. Okay. Now, is C++ and oops, or object procedural programming? Okay, guys, so uh, this question is related to this question as well, difference between C and C++. So in my previous video itself, again, repeating, this is a repeated, repeated question from two days, it seems. Like I have heard it from two to three people uh, from two to three days. So these two questions are very interrelated. This becomes the difference between that. So this Keep it done. I have the answer for that. I'll show you in the next slide. So is it a object oriented programming or procedures? It seems like oops. So this is the important question. Very basic question. You might have forgotten it. Or like when you start to learn the computer science, you might have gone through that. But now you may be completely forgotten. But it's very important to know this kind of questions. And this question, I would say, this is a very, very repeated question. Uh, every interviewer for yesterday was getting this. Okay, now. What is DBMS? That is related to database. Obviously, if you're a computer science student, you will get to know what is database, right? So database, it is database management system. So it is an, a management system for the database and it's a act as an interface between application and database. Now, next question is what is polymorphism? So you can just see the connection between this. So two questions have already came from the poly, I mean, object oriented programming. So that's it. And here too, yes, this question also related to the object oriented programming. But these two questions are from object oriented programming concepts. Okay, so you can just guess the importance of that concept. It's very simple, like four to five, six to seven, I guess. Maybe you can just go through that and learn that. Okay, now next question is program logic to print alternative even numbers. It's a kind of tricky, you can just imagine. So what are, I'll give the answer for that as well. So what are the uh, alternate, I mean, 
even numbers first let's look the even numbers so it will be like 2 uh, 4 then it will be 6 then it will be 8 okay so uh, yeah we can just add zero as well uh, you know for the sake okay fine now program belongs to print the alternative even numbers so it do means that you can just uh, i'm not taking this okay you can just leave this take this leave this take this you can just make it tricky to yourself. Either you can just, it, it can be like this or it can be like, take this or leave this, then take this or leave this. So there are multiple ways of answering these questions or to this, either you can just tell like uh, even numbers, you can just hold it somewhere and take the alternative for that and print it up. Or if it is in this mechanism, like uh, as I've mentioned in this side, this mechanism like four coming, then eight coming like that, it is a multiples of four. So that way also you can do it. So do, uh, do give the brief answer. So these kinds of mechanisms. So it is a kind of simple question, but they have, uh, you know, tricked it in your trick you with this alternative even number something like so you will think like okay even numbers then alternative you have to go it is very difficult you just think it up it is not that difficult and only the programming logic is what is asked by them so what you have to do is you can ask them like we can implement like that or you first if you have any doubt you can just ask them like uh, i would like to uh, can i use any of the word document to print the same and it's a virtual interview. So if you are just about to type something or do something, what you have to do is share your screen and be transparent. Okay. Or they'll be thinking like you are Googling and finding it out. So share your screen and be transparent. Don't give the complete program. It takes a lot of time. And also by panic, you will be missing that. Give the logic part okay that equation kind of logic part now uh, that alone you just give and also here it there was very specific like program logic part and if they ask you in specific give the program for that you can just add so i can i uh, type the program and show you so they'll say okay okay you can cite that type the program then go for the program and if they mention like okay not the program just show me the logical part you can go for that as well so if you have any doubts clear with them and do it it doesn't mean that if they got a question directly go to the program because it takes a lot of time okay so this is the technical question that we have came across so this is the uh, yes the difference between c and c plus plus that have came across uh, i don't know whether is are you able to see the top part okay so these are the some differences keep in mind always is difference and if you can't remember this uh, difference there are plenty more differences available in the internet just go through that and keep some in your head this is very important okay now we have another set that is project questions so this is an inevitable thing even if you didn't get the technical questions this much long but you can for sure you'll get some project questions which are very common okay so project questions you have got four questions it seems yeah so what is your project so yesterday most of the students got this question it's not about yesterday guys it's about any of the fresher interview that you are appearing what is your project telling you what was your project and tell me about your project so this is a common thing that you can ever get so tell about the project so what they want to hear is the idea what is actually the idea and the technical briefing like how did you use this what is the programming language what is the back ending everything so just brief it up this is the idea and this is the programming language i have used i have used this for database and how this is works fine just wrap it up with the one to 1.5 minutes don't keep it long okay so that's it. Next is what is Firebase from project? Okay, so what is the thing is he have used Firebase, Google Firebase, it seems for in his uh, project. So what is Firebase? Actually, there was a question. It is an interesting topic. It's coming up like most of them have started doing that in their uh, project. So it's a new thing maybe for them. Uh, like from the student project section okay they may be knowing it they are very good at technical i mean the interview panelist but uh, they may be hearing it from the students for the first time so they will be having some curiosity to dig your knowledge like how you how well you know about firebase so if you're just coming up with new technologies or new kind of things then what they want to make sure is whether you know about it you have learned about it before doing the project so that they'll check so he was very good. I mean, even I asked him what is Firebase just out of curiosity. So he do answered me well, like uh, gave me a like, you know, briefing idea of what is Firebase. So uh, that have helped 
to know the interviewer about the firebase so he have closed the question there okay if you give like half information then they'll dig again so is it that so is it that this like that so it is like checking yourself like uh, are you able to answer them or not okay that's it now what was your contribution to your team okay so to this question they want to hear like both technical organizing it's a kind of technical plus hr type of question because uh, this question they have not mentioned like uh, what was your coding programming contribution what is the technical contribution they just asked you what was your contribution okay so you have to consider all of your contribution so being a team member in your project you can contribute technically you will be doing some parts of the project and also you'll be taking part in organizing things or supporting the other team members for doing the work so you have to touch upon both of them so i was taking care of this programming language i was working on the back end process on this team something like that as as according to the knowledge that you're having so you was doing like that and i was helping i was a team lead if you're a team lead then you can just tell like i was a team lead and i was organizing the whole of the team together or you can just tell there is no i was one among the organizing uh, of the team in in my team assisting my team lead something you can mention like that okay so both way how you contribute they want to hear just don't end up by saying that i'm a team lead so i contributed everything no 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 they want you to hear the technical aspect as well if it is such a question where it is not mentioned what was your um, emotional contribution or behavior something like that if a technical if they not mention specifically you have to touch up both okay now what was the frequent technical issue you encountered so this is a valid question since from you know last year since we have been uh, taking online classes and virtual session sessions so being there you would have like previously when we was face to face sitting and taking the uh, online if it was offline classes then then we got together all the teammates would be getting together and be doing things so technical errors issues can be encountered i mean decreased to an extent but now we are doing and inside room everyone is independently doing so this have uh, so much of uh, technical issues that have caught so you can just mention the same either you can just tell that uh, we was lacking if you don't find if your was if your project is very common enough or if your project language and everything is supporting to all of the systems you can just tell like yes we have some technical issue it is with the internet facility that india is having i mean india is i mean little less, like low when compared to the other developed companies or other countries uh, when coming to the internet speed and everything and most of the villages if some of you may be really from the village you can tell that as well and also you can just tell that most of the students was not having the well uh, system with them okay which could take care of this uh, so they have to borrow from others so this have created an issue if it was offline then we could have we made use of the uh, like institution labs for the same so something like that you can just tell don't ever uh, point it out like your personal weaknesses or your personal issues okay it's kind of group issue that you have to tell and next was uh, next is the hr questions so done with the technical round moved on to the hr questions so here it's like what was the major weaknesses of your team okay so this is to know about your analyzing so most of uh, the we have seen like most of the candidates or anyone who is working inside the company itself they'll be complaining about the company so it is to analyze that are you a positive person or you a negative person are you uh, you know gossip kind of person to analyze that so what was the major weaknesses of your team i can give you one that uh, it it is it is a weakness of the team as if now but if it is was offline okay it's an example okay i'm giving you an example to answer so sir if if this uh, sessions or doing this project as a team was held offline then uh, we would have sit together and able to work so since it's been virtual it's been online we just missed that and we just had had clashes between the schedules that each independent uh, people was having so that was the inconvenience that we faced apart from that uh, most of all ours was cooperative enough so since this was a weaknesses we could tackle it with our offer cooperative uh, being cooperative with each other so something like that okay what i meant is if you are showing up a weakness 
don't throw the weakness directly just say okay this was a problem but we just solved it by these many things give the solution as well okay they have only asked about the weaknesses so you i'll give the weakness and end it up no coming to the negative thing you have to cover it positively if they ask if they ask you positive questions answer it positively and end it if they ask you negative kind of questions you have to tell that negative part and end it with positively okay this shows your behavioral aspects this shows your communication so make sure you have that okay now how do you manage to build a project virtually as a team so this is interrelated to be frank so i think he might have not a uh, touch upon the virtual not very uh, he, like the inter panelists have been got any idea about that so asked in person i mean asked us another question so how it was so you can just tell that we used to set up meetings every week and we used to delegate the work and do it come up the next week and discuss about that 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 was our agenda or this is how we worked like that you can just how tell how your project worked okay if your project worked if you just bought your project or something like that there are con conditions where you give the money and bring your project but still you have to you know create up a story okay do that for getting the job but it is not very good not recommendable try to do your project because you may be answering this questions but you will not be able to answer the technical question or will be having some problem once you get into the uh, job okay if you don't know anything about technical so try to do the project all by yourself so just tell how did that worked the time table the schedules everything okay and the other question which is very common and if it is with tcs then ask they they ask why tcs if it is is with infosys they ask why infosys if it is with cognizant they ask why cognizant okay they want to hear like why you are like what is being a graduate what you are looking forward for so as i've mentioned in my previous video itself you have to answer this very positively like i am a fresher i would like to explore the opportunities available in the it sector so i would like to extend my learning as a career so uh, i strongly believe tcs to provide me a great platform to start my career and to extend my learning on this industry it industry okay specifically it industry if you are a computer science or non computer science student be specific about it industry because it's an it company okay yeah now will you see yourself in 5 years okay so i think he was pretty impulsive or pretty good at answering things so that he got so much sr questions so will you see yourself in 5 years so don't it uh, like you know don't be specific about a single position don't just tell like i'll be senior manager or i'll be the ceo don't like don't like give the position you have to mention it being a fresher uh, i mean i don't know that whether it's good or wrong to mention the particular position but that gives a negative impression to most of the recruiters which i had had uh, a personal talk with if they got the freshers answering like that like uh, i'll be there as a senior manager in your company for the five years then that gives a kind of overconfidence or confidence is good but it, most of that answer is not acceptable for most of the recruiters uh, whom i i have been in contact with so to this answer being a fresher you can answer like i will gain a lot of knowledge about the it sector or the evolving technologies and i will be enriched by something like that okay something related to the learning process about the technology you can mention about the it sector you can mention i'll be developing my skills and i'll be give getting i'll be in a my i'll be exploring the different opportunities and i'll be finding the one which is my cup of tea in the technical field or the it sector and i will be working in the same field in tcs something like that you can conclude okay so because everybody know that once you are studying or once you just graduated you don't know about the different technologies available inside the campus or inside the it sector actually it sector or you don't know like different job roles or the different job opportunities available in it sector for your graduation and that's very true and they know it as well so you have to admit it now i don't have i have very limited knowledge upon the opportunities available in it sector so i would like to learn extend my learning in my careers technical and everything and would like to find my field okay so that's it now your dream career so this is something related to this itself so dream career so everybody will be having independent dream it's it's a kind of casual question you can answer it up to your sensibility so answer it very well okay 
so never okay one more thing never ever say that my dream is to work in tcs for one year and then uh, go to other multinational company or then go to abroad to any other company don't uh, answer like leaving this organization you just give it like you know if you are interested for uh, higher studies then something like that or you can just tell uh, tcs related or if you are not sure you will be staying up in tcs you don't have to mention that it's just leave it okay don't ever say that after one year getting experience i'll be leaving tcs don't admit that if you are going to do that as well don't admit that okay so this is about the hr questions and end you will have one more questions any more questions okay hr will ask you like any questions more so you have to throw up like two questions minimum okay you have to ask two questions minimum for them as well okay so these are the hr and the technical questions that one of a student have faced and from all of the questions or all of the experience that i got to her here from the candidates who have just appeared the interview by the last week i got to know that this is very kind of common kind of questions that they are asking that is not the common questions are the same but the pattern of questions are very similar and this is what uh, they are looking forward for and we prepare enough make your to do list now itself with these factors and try to develop that and then go for the technical question okay that's it so i think uh, you got to know about everything that i have shared in this video so in previously to my video i have uh, so much doubts like i have prepared it right here so you can see there are so much doubts that i personally got it yeah you can see this is my previous video comment section so most of how uh, you have said like thank you yeah thank you thanks a lot any time welcome we are working for you and i just pick up one two questions okay uh, i have a question will they go and ask to execute a project on a system show their project is just has to explain no 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 you don't have to show your project or execute them you can just tell like how is the working and you can just tell like how uh, which all the technical aspect that they have used and uh, madam whatever projects we do we done whether we have to show by sharing no 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 i have given the thesis and qt i think it's up to them we can't answer this question so that is a pretty i think i think most of them so uh, some of them has even asked like what will be the uh, like uh, the platform they are using for the interview so it's like a platform is uh, we can be so sure about the platform it's like uh, it can be google meet a google meet seems yes i think so yeah Uh, so and whatever it is they'll send the link and they'll try to get in i forget to ask that as well to the student but i think somewhere someone has mentioned google meet okay fine so this is it so this is the interview experience of one of the students so similarly you will be having your interview session too so all the best whoever preparing all the very best for you you will definitely crack be nervous free don't be get nervous be confident and prepare well and attend it okay if you have any further doubts please do let me know in the comment section and also suggestions regarding the video well welcome to the comment section so until i come up again everybody stay safe stay happy and stay tuned to online study for you